Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome to Queen Michelle Kitchen. I'm very, very happy because I'm about to teach you how to cook red snapper. Oh, the Caribbean way. The best way. Avocat de oil, apple cider vinegar, salt, black pepper, turmeric, old bay seasoning, lemon, plantain, sweet potato. Flour, scissors, the store I already cleaned the fish. I have nothing really to clean it, but I'm going to pretend right now it has not been uh, clean. You know, the fish has been cut. I'm putting it together so you can see what it look like. No fat inside, no skill on top of the fish. It's really done. I'm about to add pocket to make sure my spices can get inside the fish. Because when you fry the fish, you want to make sure no fat inside. And I look everywhere, there is no fat. The wool, the pocket, going to put the spices. I'm turning it over and clean it. Good and add pocket, and my spice is about to be in. The fish already uh, clean. Now I'm adding lemon with cold water to make sure it's been really clean, and I'm going to wash it a second time. And the third time, I'm going to add apple cider vinegar to get the smell out. And of course, I'm going to marinate it for an hour. It's up to you. But me, I'm going to let it stay for one hour before I start frying it. I'm adding apple cider vinegar and salt and water, salt and black pepper in the water and I'm going to let it stay for a few minutes. Now, I'm patting the fish. You can tell I'm taking it out of the water. I'll make sure it's dry very well before I season it. I'm using my turmeric, one tablespoon of turmeric. I'm adding one tablespoon of lemon juice. And I'm adding my special spices, a piece that I already made with scarlet paper and parsley and garlic. I'm adding one tablespoon of old bay seasoning. I'm mixing them all together. Half tablespoon of salt. I'm adding half tablespoon of black pepper. I'm about to mix them all together to season my fish. I'm seasoning the fish with my spices and I'm going to let it stay marinate for half an hour. It's up to you. You can leave it up to an hour if you want. 
I'm working in my planting before I cut it. I cut the two tails and I'm going to make a mark inside the planting to take the skin out. Be careful when you're taking the skin out because that's what I'm going to use to press the planting when I'm making the, the, the banana pesé, which is fried planting. It's up to you the way you cut it. You can make it round. You cut it in small pieces, not too big. It will make it easier for you when you fry the planting. This is the way I, I make it about like several pieces. Now rinse it with cold water. After I add, I'm going to add a little bit salt in the water and a little bit black paper. Put it together because I'm going to see the same water I'm going to use after I fry the planting the first time. I'm going to press it and add it back to the water and add it back in the salt and fry it. Now I have my sweet potato that I already peel out. I'm cutting it round to give it a nice beauty. It's up to you how you want to cut it. But I prefer my round. I'm adding in the same salt and water, a little bit paper, make give it a taste. We'll have a good taste before I fry it. Now you make sure you put your oil in your pot first in the pan and it has to be really hot and be careful while you put it there. When you add the plantain in there, you can hear the sound of it. And as you put it in, you leave space. You don't, you don't stack them together. You leave space between them. And as you put them there, you don't wait too long to turn them over. Because if you don't do that, it will get burned. And look, I'm turning them over. That's give you a little beautiful goldenish color. And as I turn it over, move them around, give a little space between each of them, and I have to return them over again. You see, the color is nice, and I use a fork. When you use the fork, it's stuck inside. If it went inside, that's mean it's cooked. But if the fork could not pick it up, that's when it's not cooked again, and you leave it in the heat in the oil until it's get done. Right now, they all are already done, and I'm putting them back in the water of the salt paper that I pre let suck in before. And while I'm putting in the water, I'm frying my sweet potato. I follow the same procedure, turn them over until it give me a good color and use the fork to make sure it's soft. When it's soft, that's when it's done, it's ready, you take it out. And when I take them out, I do not have to put the sweet potato back in the water because the sweet potato is not going back in the oil. It's only the planting that's going back. So I use the skin of my planting to press it down, to get softer, and put it back in the water that I prepared before. And that's going to make the planting taste really better. The salt will get to it in the black paper. Press it with the If you don't have this, if you have a pressure, a presser, you use the skin. But some people, use the bottom of a cup to press it down. But I prefer to use the skin of the plantain for safety reason. Okay, now I put my plantain back in the oil. You can look at it to see how pretty they look. They're not that hard. And at the same time, you don't want it to be dry in the oil. The minute you step it back, you just don't want it to be wet and you turn it over and you keep it out. Now I have my fish take it out from the season. I'm coating it with flour. I did add a little bit old bay seasoning in that flour. Coating it really well and the, 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 the oil has been really hot. And I put the fish in the oil and leave space between two of them. And you do not want it to get burned. You want it to cook, so I'm about to turn it over so it will not change, will not burn. Now, before I do that, I let it stay and use, turn it over, and you can tell a pretty look. It's, you don't want it to mess up. It's not messing up. It look good. You put enough oil in the pan to cover the fish. 
You don't put too much, you cannot put less either, otherwise the fish will not fry and you want it to look this beautiful golden color and let it stay until you feel like it's ready. You might have to use a fork to, to dip inside, to put inside to make sure. And also turn it over a different side. The side of the fish, you turn it that way. You turn it back again to the other side because you want all part of the fish to be fried and to look good too. As you can tell, the fish is fine, really good in the oil. You turn it over back and forth each side until it's ready. In no specific time, it can be between 15 minutes to 20 minutes. It's up to you the way, the way you want it. So if you want it to be really crispy, you let it stay longer. If you don't want it to be scrapy, you want it to be soft, you don't take it out as much. As long as it's ready, you can tell when it's ready to take it out. Wow, check it out. It's been done. It really tastes great. Fried plantains, fried sweet potato, pickles that I had a video on. You must watch that. And it's ready to go. I would call this a beautiful plate of fritai if I was in Haiti. Yes, ready to go. Don't forget to like, share, write a comment. I'll come back soon with another authentic Haitian dish.